Shadow of the Beast is a side-scrolling platformer with some puzzle elements sprinkled in. The game was originally released for the Amiga in 1989 and was later ported to numerous other consoles. But I, I'm going to be looking at the Mega Drive port, and at some point I will also talk about the Master System port as it plays entirely differently. In the game, you play as Aberon, whom was kidnapped while he was a child by the evil lord Maltot. He was then subsequently transformed and corrupted by dark magic and potions into a beast of a creature to do Maltot's bidding. The game starts, starts just after a man who was his father yet executed. This isn't shown on screen. And he suddenly remembers whom he is and decides to go and get his revenge. If you don't have the manual, if you don't have the manual, you won't know any of this because the back of the box just goes on about how visually stunning the game is. And well, that's actually quite true. The game is beautiful to look at with its surrealist artwork, parallax and backgrounds and foregrounds, and the bizarre enemy designs. The soundtrack is equally as ambitious as it tries to emulate the original soundtrack from the Amiga, but something about it just feels off. It's by no means terrible, but the hardware certainly isn't doing the soundtrack any favours. The gameplay is solid, although brutally difficult, as you can take 12 hits with potions scattered in key areas to restore your health, but with how quickly the enemies move, unless you know what you're doing, you're going to lose fairly quickly. As you move between key areas, you'll be shown a short cutscene image with scrolling text to set up ambience and mood of the area you're about to head into and it really greatly helps with the immersion. I've said pretty much all I can about this one. Um, if you're not a masochist or you just want to play to see all the awesome artwork, use the invulnerability code. If you want to try to find a copy on eBay, at the present time it's sitting around 25 for a loose copy, roughly 30 for a boxed, and 60 for a completed box. So honestly, I'd say wait for the hoarders to flood the market and for the prices to drop again before you try to pick this one up. Uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.